What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Jay here. In today's episode, I wanna discuss with you one of the richest men in the world. Just bought a stock that used to be very, very popular, but has recently been subject to cancel culture. And I think this person sees some serious value in this stock, and that person is Bill Gates. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, it really helps this channel grow. And let's check out what stock Bill Gates just bought. The stock, that Bill Gates and his foundation just bought is Anheuser-Busch, ticker symbol B-U-D. All right, everybody, here's the article from Tip Ranks. Bill Gates picks up Bud shares. Morgan Stanley says current valuation does not reflect the potential upside. Here's why you should take notice. All right, let's get into the article a little bit. As we all know, there's a lot of controversy surrounding Anheuser-Busch and the recent influencer ad with transgender person Dylan Mulvaney. It definitely backfired for sure. All right, let's take a look at this article closer. It says, it must have sounded like a good idea at the time, but Anheuser-Busch decision to run a promotional campaign ad for its Bud Light beer with the help of transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney backfired spectacularly. Conservative Americans did not like the idea at all and decided to boycott the drink, thereby no longer making its U.S best-selling beer. It says, as sales plummeted in the wake of the controversy, Bud shares went into a tailspin, falling by 20% in May, with the company also laying off over 300 USA employees. Nevertheless, the drop in U.S. sales is the sort of hoopla that is confined to the domestic market and a strong performance in other markets managed to offset some of the U.S. slack. In total, organic volume in Q2 fell by 1.4% year-over-year, with a North American drop of 14% countered by a robust growth in the Asian Pacific region. All right, everybody, here is the chart for Bud. Anheuser-Busch is currently down 7% for the year, but if you zoom out to five years, the stock is down nearly 40%. So there is potential upside for the beer and beverage giant. We'll have to see what happens. I don't really have a dog in this fight, but to me, as long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't really give a shit what you do, but I do find it a little ironic that the culture who hated cancel culture so much is now canceling Bud Light. But that's a different topic for another day. All right, now let's go into the Bud stock and see if it's a potential buy for us. All right, here is Anheuser-Busch, guys, ticker symbol B-U-D. They're trading around 56 bucks a share right now. If we look at the share profile up on the right-hand corner, their market cap is around $95 billion with $1.7 billion outstanding shares. But the one thing that concerns me when I first look at this is check this out. Shares held by institutions, 5%. That is terrible. That is horrible. I don't know if it's because it's an alcohol company. A lot of these big ETFs cannot buy Anheuser-Busch. But 5%, most of the stocks I want to buy is at least 50% institutional holding. That really gives the stock a good base. But 5% is not good at all. But if we look at the one-year chart, it is squeaking out a 7% gain. Year-to-date, down 7%. Three-year chart, 1%. So, I mean, with all the negative press Anheuser-Busch has been getting, for it to only be down you know, 5%, 6% year-to-date is not too bad. And the short interest right here, guys, which I'm highlighting, let's look into the health of the dividend for Bud Anheuser-Busch. Here's the calendar year dividend payments by X date. And we can see that you know it's trending downward, which is never a good thing. The annual dividend, they're paying $0.82 cents a share. The annual dividend is only 1.46%. The payout ratio is currently 25%, so the dividend is absolutely safe. But at one less than 1.5%, I mean, they're not really giving me a whole lot of reasons to want to invest in this as a dividend play or a potential turnaround growth play. The stuff that I'm looking in Budweiser, could this be a potential turnaround play? Sure. But if you look at the 10-year growth rate for the dividend, negative 12%, the five-year growth rate is down 30%, the three-year growth rate is negative 34%. All of this 
for the dividend safety and reliability is coming in for a pass for me. So if you're buying this stock, it is absolutely not for the dividend. You only have to buy this for share appreciation. And let's kind of go into their sales and let's see if there is growth there and if this is a potential turnaround play. All right, let's move over to tip ranks and see what some of the analysts are saying about Bud. There are currently eight analysts covering the stock. Six of them give it a buy rating and two give it a hold rating with a price target on average of about $69. That's around 23% upside from the current stock price. So there is value there, absolutely. Especially when you're you know, going as aggressive as Bill Gates and his foundation are. I think they bought 1.7 million shares. Let's go check it out. It says, during the second quarter, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Trust initiated a new position in Bud, acquiring 1.7 million shares of the company, and now hold value of approximately $95 million invested in Bud. Let's take a deeper dive into Bud's earnings, and we can see what the picture really looks like, and if this stock has potential, are they stable, is it a growing business, or is it stagnant? All right, taking a look at their historical earnings the past four quarters. Their revenue, the trailing 12 months, that's what TTM means, guys, trailing 12 months, is around $59 billion. The price to earnings is 18.65, and the forward PE, what analysts are projecting they're going to earn, is a little bit less than that at 18. And this is in a good range. It's not in a great range. If their earnings continue to increase over the next couple quarters, and we can get that P.E. ratio and forward P.E. in the 15s or 14s, that's when I really want to jump into this stock. All right, so it's around $56 a share. So in my opinion, anything under 50 bucks a share could be a potential buy for Bud. All right, let's dive a little deeper into their earnings and see where they're at. The first thing I want to do is check out their last four quarters. Sales have decreased from the second half of 2022, but we do see some positive signs in 2023. We are having increases on the top and the bottom line for Bud. So these are the estimates at 62 cents and 68 cents per share, but they beat at 65 cents and beat again at 72 cents. So they are coming in a little better than analysts think, and that's always a good thing. The last four quarters, they have beat analyst expectations, and that is a positive thing moving forward. All right, let's dive a little deeper. Next, I wanna do some annual growth analysis. I wanna talk about EPS, I wanna talk about revenue, and I wanna talk about cash flow. Check out these charts here. First, we're going to start off with earnings per share. Since 2020, we see an increase from 20 to 2021. Then we see an increase from 2021 to 2022. All right, guys, taking a look at this chart, we see there's been some really big increases in earnings per share. You see that from 2020 to 2021, up 49%. That's not normal for this stock. That's because of all the bullshit that was going on with COVID. But we see some normalization between 2021 and 2022 at 12%. 12% growth earnings per share is something I can get down with for sure. But then they're projecting a small downslide from 2022 to 2023 earnings. But that is just a projection that hasn't been solidified yet. We still have two more quarters to go for them to announce. So this could end up being, you know, less or more. We don't know yet. But for the most part, the earnings per share growth is like something I can get down with, you know, especially over two years. See if they even break even, like a compound annual growth rate for earnings per share would be around, you know, 6% for two years, which isn't terrible. All right, let's move on to sales. Sales looks really good from 2020 to 2021. We're up 15%. From 2021 to 2022, we're up 6%. And then we're up even a little more, 6.8% from 2022 to 2023. Revenue is continuing to grow for Anheuser-Busch, which is a good sign considering all this cancel culture stuff they've been dealing with and all the boycotting of Bud Light, their number one selling product. For them to continue to grow on the top line is very, very impressive. And I'm starting to see why Bill Gates sees potential in this stock. And cash flow is another thing. We go from $2 billion in 2020 to $5 billion in 2021. And then from 2021 to 2022, from $5 billion to $6 billion, 15.5% increase in cash flow. That is great. 
those numbers are something I can get behind. And now I get why Bill Gates and Melinda Gates' foundation bought 1.7 million shares of Bud. So in my opinion, this is a buy. But if I'm going to get into the stock, I'm going to go really slowly because the economy is definitely starting to slow down. I have a small business and the, the post office looks like a desert island. There's nobody in there at all whatsoever. So the economy definitely concerns me. If you're looking to get into the stock, the buy range in which I'm going to start to acquire bud shares is under 50 bucks. I might even sell some cash secured puts at that $50 range. So if you have five grand, you do the put at $50. So you'd have to buy 100 shares of Bud at 50 bucks per share coming in at your $5,000. Let me know your thoughts on Bud in the comments below. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. It really helps us get in the algorithm and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.